Welcome to Mercurial Fitness. We all know the general rule of thumb when it comes to building muscle is protein, and a lot of it. But what if we told you that you can also build muscle on a low protein diet? Now, you might be wondering how it's possible to build muscle when protein is often tooted as the king of muscle growth. Well, stick around as we unravel this intriguing relationship between protein intake and muscle development. Protein, as we all know, is essential for muscle repair and growth. Typically, fitness enthusiasts and bodybuilders emphasize high-protein diets to maximize their gains. However, recent discussions in the fitness community suggest that muscle growth can still occur even with lower protein intake, provided other dietary and training factors are optimized. In this video, we'll explore how your body can adapt to different nutritional strategies and still achieve impressive results. We'll discuss the role of other macronutrients, the importance of overall calorie intake, and how training intensity and consistency can influence muscle growth even when protein levels are lower than conventional recommendations. Understanding the dietary impacts on your fitness goals is crucial. Knowing how to balance your diet can help you achieve your desired results without feeling restricted to eating chicken breasts every single day. So, if you're curious about how to navigate muscle building on a low protein diet, you're in the right place. Let's get started and discuss how you can optimize your muscle growth journey. Protein plays a pivotal role in muscle development, acting as the fundamental building block for muscle tissue. When we engage in resistance training or any form of exercise that stresses our muscles, tiny tears occur in the muscle fibers. This is where protein steps in, facilitating the repair process. Amino acids, the building blocks of protein, are crucial for repairing these tears and promoting muscle growth, a process known as muscle hypertrophy. Numerous scientific studies have established a strong link between protein intake and muscle hypertrophy. For instance, research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that individuals who consumed higher amounts of protein experienced significantly greater muscle gains compared to those with lower protein intake. Another study in the Journal of Applied Physiology highlighted that protein timing, consuming protein shortly after workouts, can further enhance muscle repair and growth. These findings underscore the importance of not just the quantity of protein consumed, but also the timing of intake in relation to exercise. So how much protein do you actually need for muscle gain? While recommendations can vary based on individual goals and activity levels, a common guideline suggests aiming for about 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day for those looking to build muscle. This range ensures that your body has enough amino acids available to support muscle repair and growth effectively. Understanding these biological functions of protein can empower you to make informed dietary choices that align with your fitness goals. A low protein diet is generally defined as one that provides less than the recommended daily allowance of protein, which is typically around 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight for the average adult. In practical terms, this often translates to consuming less than 50 grams of protein per day. Common characteristics of low-protein diets include a heavy reliance on carbohydrates and fats, with limited inclusion of protein-rich foods such as meat, dairy, eggs, legumes, and nuts. Typical dietary patterns that result in low-protein consumption often include vegetarian or vegan diets that may not be well-planned, leading to insufficient protein intake. Additionally, some individuals may adopt low-protein diets for weight loss, believing that reducing protein can help decrease overall calorie intake. Others might choose this approach due to health conditions that require them to limit protein, such as kidney disease, where excessive protein can strain the kidneys. While there can be valid reasons for adopting a low-protein diet, it's essential to consider the implications of low-protein intake on overall health. Insufficient protein can lead to muscle loss, weakened immune function, and slower recovery from injuries. It can also affect energy levels and overall metabolic health. For those engaged in regular physical activity or looking to build muscle, a low-protein diet may hinder progress and lead to suboptimal results. Understanding these aspects can help individuals make informed choices about their dietary patterns and ensure they meet their nutritional needs effectively. The question of whether muscle growth is possible on a low-protein diet is a topic of considerable debate in the fitness community. While traditional wisdom emphasizes the importance of protein for muscle development, emerging scientific evidence suggests that muscle growth can still occur even with lower protein intake. A study published in the Journal of Sports Sciences found that individuals who consumed moderate amounts of protein could still achieve muscle hypertrophy, particularly when combined with resistance training. This indicates that while protein is important, it may not be the sole determinant of muscle growth. 
Several factors can influence muscle growth beyond just protein intake. For instance, the intensity and consistency of your training regimen play a crucial role. Engaging in progressive overload, gradually increasing the weight or resistance in your workouts can stimulate muscle growth regardless of protein levels. Additionally, overall caloric intake, the presence of other macronutrients, and recovery practices such as sleep and hydration are vital components that contribute to muscle development. Expert opinions further illuminate this topic. Renowned fitness professionals often emphasize that while protein is essential, it's not the only factor at play. Many trainers advocate for a holistic approach to muscle building, focusing on a balanced diet, effective training, and recovery strategies. Testimonials from athletes who have successfully built muscle on lower protein diets highlight the importance of individual variability and the body's ability to adapt to different nutritional strategies. Ultimately, while protein is important, muscle growth can still be achieved through a comprehensive approach that considers multiple factors. When it comes to supporting muscle growth, protein often takes center stage, but other dietary components also play crucial roles in muscle health. Key nutrients such as carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals contribute significantly to overall muscle function and recovery. For instance, carbohydrates are essential for replenishing glycogen stores in muscles after intense workouts. They provide the energy needed for high-intensity training, which is vital for stimulating muscle growth. Healthy fats, on the other hand, are important for hormone production, including testosterone, which is also linked to muscle development. Incorporating a balanced intake of carbohydrates and fats can enhance your muscle building efforts, even on a low-protein diet. Whole grains, fruits, and vegetables are excellent sources of carbohydrates that can fuel your workouts and aid recovery. Foods rich in healthy fats, such as avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil, can support overall health and hormone balance, further promoting muscle growth. For those looking to optimize muscle growth while adhering to a low-protein diet, Meal planning can be a game changer. Consider meals that include a variety of nutrient-dense foods. For example, a quinoa salad with mixed vegetables topped with avocado and a sprinkle of seeds can provide a balanced mix of carbohydrates and healthy fats. Smoothies made with fruits, spinach, and nut butter can also serve as a nutritious option. Additionally, incorporating legumes and whole grains can help increase protein intake without relying solely on traditional protein sources. By focusing on a diverse range of nutrients, you can effectively support muscle growth while maintaining a low-protein diet. For fitness enthusiasts on a low-protein diet, building muscle may seem challenging, but there are several actionable strategies to maximize muscle growth despite limited protein intake. First and foremost, focus on optimizing your overall caloric intake. Ensure you are consuming enough calories to support your energy needs, as a caloric surplus can promote muscle growth even with lower protein levels. Incorporating a variety of nutrient-dense foods is essential. Emphasize complex carbohydrates like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, which provide the energy needed for intense workouts. Healthy fats from sources like avocados, nuts, and olive oil can also support hormone production and overall health, contributing to muscle development even further. Consider using supplements or alternative protein sources to help meet your protein needs without relying solely on traditional animal-based options. Plant-based protein powders such as pea or hemp protein can be a great addition to smoothies or meals. Additionally, foods like quinoa, lentils, and chickpeas offer higher protein content compared to other plant foods and can be easily incorporated into a variety of dishes. Strength training is crucial for muscle growth, so prioritize a well-structured resistance training program. Focus on compound movements like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses, which engage multiple muscle groups and stimulate growth effectively. Aim for progressive overload by gradually increasing the weights or resistance over time. Lastly, ensure you are allowing adequate recovery time between your workouts. Muscle growth occurs during rest, so prioritize sleep and recovery strategies to support your training efforts. By combining these dietary and training strategies, you can effectively build muscle even on a low-protein diet. In today's video, we explore the intriguing topic of muscle growth on a low-protein diet. We began by discussing the essential role of protein in muscle repair and growth, highlighting that while protein is important, it is not the only factor influencing muscle development. Scientific evidence suggests that muscle hypertrophy can still occur even with lower protein intake, especially when combined with effective training and overall caloric sufficiency. We also examined alternative nutritional strategies, emphasizing the importance of carbohydrates and healthy fats in supporting muscle health. 
These macronutrients provide the energy needed for intense workouts and contribute to hormone production, both of which are vital for muscle growth. Additionally, we shared practical tips for fitness enthusiasts, including the use of supplements and alternative protein sources, as well as the significance of strength training in achieving fitness goals. As you reflect on your own dietary choices and fitness aspirations, consider how you can incorporate these insights into your own routine. Whether you're on a low protein diet or simply looking to optimize your nutrition, understanding the broader picture of muscle growth can empower you to make informed decisions. If you found this video helpful, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more content on fitness and nutrition. Don't forget to give the video a like and let us know in the comments down below what your daily protein intake is. Thank you for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.